Hey guys, my name is James, and I run the YouTube channel called The Hacksmith, and I'm entering my exoskeleton into the Boca Bearings contest. So, I base this uh, exoskeleton kind of loosely off of the movie Elysium, starring Matt Damon. Um, the reason I did that was it was one of the first movies that actually had an exoskeleton that was relatively feasible for the current level of technology, and I thought, I could build one of those, so why not build it? Um, I've been working on this project for a few months now, um, it's cost a few hundred dollars so far, and that's because I managed to get the cylinders for free, and I got some really good deals on the valve bank. Um, the project uses spherical ball joints for the shoulders. And basically my goal for doing this project was to make a working exoskeleton that can augment my strength. And I proved that by being able to curl a 170 pound barbell, which is pretty impressive considering I only weigh about 140 pounds. Hundred and seventy pounds. Like nothing. Legs feel it though. <laughs> so another cool thing about that test, I was actually running at only half pressure. So these cylinders are actually rated for 250 psi. My air compressor can only do 125. So hypothetically, if I upgrade that compressor, I could potentially curl around 300 pounds, which I think would be pretty cool. Um, the next challenge for me will be making the lower half, which is quite the challenge, because being able to walk, very complex when you're adding uh, different actuators and joints and all kinds of stuff like that. So I think this project's uh, fairly unique, because most of the exoskeleton builds you see are all being done by mega rich corporations and I'm just here working in my garage doing what I can with the parts I have so I think that's pretty cool alright so currently I'm using spherical ball joints on the shoulders which is a, it's a type of bearing and the reason I'm doing that is because it gives me flexibility to move my arms sideways back and forth like this as well as a full range of motion up and down sorry it's attached to the mannequin right now um, as this project continues to develop, I will be needing a lot more bearings. I'm going to be using them on the lower half for all the joints, all the connection points for the cylinders. Uh, there will be a lot of bearings in the end. So you'll have your ball joint mounted off of the shoulder, off the arm, sorry, and then this one mounted off the shoulder. So the one mounted off the shoulder with a bolt will allow the entire arm to rotate up and down like this, whereas the other one will let it rotate around giving me full flexibility of the shoulder. Potentially down the road, um, depending on how the exoskeleton goes, it could solve a problem. It could allow people to have augmented strength for various things, whether you're a, um, someone with a disability who might not have uh, the same muscular strength as a, as a healthy person, or it could be for someone who has some kind of disorder that prevents them from being able to do normal activities. It could also be used potentially in disaster relief scenarios. Um, for now, I'm just playing around with different ideas and seeing what I come up with. But as I further refine the design, I'll probably have a better idea of where I want to take it. So the most important thing I want you guys to take away from this video is this is only just the beginning. I'm nowhere near done. I'm planning the lower half. I'm planning on upgrading it, making it more powerful, more flexible, all kinds of stuff. And if you guys like this project, you can actually watch me build it on my YouTube channel. So I, I do detailed video logs of the entire process from start to finish. If I was to win the $5,000 prize, I would spend $5,000 working on this. I'd buy much better components, I would upgrade the cylinders, I'd get a proper air compressor, all kinds of stuff. Um, I think five grand would take this project really far, and I really hope I'll win because 
that would be awesome. So, if you guys like my project, um, vote for it. And don't forget to check out my channel on YouTube. I've got lots of cool videos there. The entire process of building this, I keep a build log for everything I do with it. We're up to 16 parts so far. And, yeah, thanks for watching.